way back in the 1980s or maybe even the 1970s, um, Earl Stevick wrote a, a book which has had a profound effect on educators, certainly of my generation. Uh, and it's called Memory, Meaning and Method. And it was a book about the methodology of English language teaching and, and language learning in general. Uh, and I think it's worth drawing out the memory part of what he said, because what he said was, uh, good language learners memorize things. Uh, it's when you memorize, when you have committed to your memory little chunks of language, little phrases, little things like that, that they're available for you to use even without thinking. Uh, memory really matters. Um, memorizing song lyrics really matters and that feeds into the language store that you have in your brain if you if you remember lyrics from a song in a foreign language and it's the same with language learning if you're in a classroom there's no good learning some language in the classroom and then walking out the room and forgetting it just like that memory is absolutely crucial a developed memory good memory is absolutely critical for for learning a foreign language uh, so in one uh, book I've been involved in, uh, a book called Jetstream, uh, published by Helbling, uh, there's a heavy focus on memory. Uh, I'll give you a couple of examples of how it might work. Um, uh, suppose that you students listen to a dialogue, for example, uh, and hopefully quite an enjoyable dialogue between two people, uh, maybe a dramatic scene, then there are lots of things you can do with it and traditionally you get students to listen, pre-questions, post-questions, uh, analyzing the language and things like that and there's nothing wrong with any of that at all but how about if you say listen to this and you just check that students have understood it and then everyone closes everything their books and then you say try and recreate the dialogue as far as you can remember try and recreate the dialogue and they'll make a bit of a mess of it but that exercise of their memory their attempts to memorize what they've heard is a really vital part of the process of language learning. And if they can remember three or four of the things that the speaker said, and if you bring that back to their memory uh, uh, in subsequent lessons, you can be fairly certain that lexical chunk may be, I don't know, it could be anything. It could be, uh, you must be joking, or, or see you later, uh, you know, typical language chunks. If you can make sure that that stays in the student's memory and then sort of sinks down into the store, well, we have liftoff. That's how language learning works. Um, so, so memory works like that. Uh, what we know about um, the, the way students remember words, for example, is that you need uh, um, a repetition of encounter with the words. In other words, you need to come across them a lot. Uh, but you have to have, you have to have, um, um, but it has to be spaced Rep spaced encounters. They have to meet words uh, not all at the same time but with spaces in between and then you have to bring the words back back until they are memorized and once they're memorized we as I said we've made it we've done it. Uh, here's another situation. Students read a reading text. Um, you can do anything with a reading text and all teachers have their own techniques but one of the things you should do with reading text is remember them. I don't mean word for word, although that wouldn't be a bad idea either as it happens. But actually you're saying to students, okay, now what do you remember? What do you remember? And the act of trying to remember is a really good uh, mental process because it forces students to try and bring back the words they've just come across to try. What was it? What was it? Oh yes, it was that. It was that. What was it? And that process is magic. That's, that's what language learning is all around, about. Now, if you're lucky, you hear lots of language and, and in the sort of theory of language which says the mind is a computer, that's all you need. But we think differently. Uh, uh, language, has, language learning has something to do with repetition, it has something to do with, with it has something to do with, with obviously affect and all that kind of thing, but it crucially it has a lot to do with memory. Uh, when students try and remember and then actually remember uh, the language they've come across, well then, uh, they've learnt the language more or less, and that's why memory is so important.